On September 2, 2025, Croatia officially introduced the Beraktar TB-2 unmanned aerial system to its armed forces, marking a significant milestone in the nation's ongoing military modernization program. The ceremony, held at Colonel Marko Zhivkovic barracks in Pliso, brought together key figures from the government and military, including Minister of Defense Ivan Anuzic, Chief of the General Staff General Tahimir Kundit, Turkish Ambassador Hayrai Nerdin Erpilat El Tuntas, and other representatives from both nations. This event underscored Croatia's determination to enhance its air power capabilities, following the recent integration of Rafale fighter jets into the Croatian Air Force. Croatia has procured six Beraktar TB-2 drones, which have been assigned to the 125th Fighter Reconnaissance Squadron. The rapid pace of implementation was highlighted by Colonel Andre Tijin, the squadron commander, who praised the performance of the first group of Croatian pilots and technicians trained in Turkey. Between April and August 2025, this initial team underwent rigorous training programs, achieving performance metrics that exceeded expectations. Each drone is operated by two qualified pilots, consistent with international regulations for remotely piloted aircraft operating in controlled airspace. A second wave of personnel is slated to begin their training in 2026, ensuring the squadron's operational continuity and expansion. The Beraktar TB-2 is celebrated for its operational versatility. Minister Anuzic highlighted its ability to conduct combat operations, gather intelligence, and participate in search and rescue missions. General Kundit emphasized that modern drones have evolved from support roles into essential components of combat power, with capabilities comparable to traditional fighter aircraft and air defense systems. He also pointed out the importance of equipping Croatia's armed forces with a range of systems, from Beraktar-type drones to locally developed FPV unmanned aircraft, reflecting a broader trend of diversifying aerial capabilities. The contract with Turkish manufacturer Baykar extends beyond the delivery of the six drones. It includes a complete suite of support systems, encompassing both fixed and mobile control stations, advanced training simulators, command posts, encrypted data reception and processing systems, spare parts, laser-guided munitions, and comprehensive technical assistance. Turkish specialists will remain in Croatia for a two-year period to provide on-site support and maintenance, while additional training programs will continue in Turkey. Dedicated infrastructure has been constructed to accommodate the new drone squadron, including aviation facilities and advanced communication systems. This holistic approach ensures that the Beraktar TB-2 fleet can operate effectively and sustainably within Croatia's defense framework. Developed by Baykar, the Beraktar TB-2 is a combat-proven platform derived from the earlier TB-1 model. Introduced in 2014, the TB-2 initially employed a Rotax 912 engine, which was later replaced by the TEI PD-170 in 2018. The drone measures 6.5 meters in length with a wingspan of 12 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 700 kilograms. It can reach speeds of up to 222 kilometers per hour, operate at altitudes as high as 7,620 meters, and sustain flights for up to 27 hours. Its operational range extends to 150 kilometers, making it highly effective for both tactical and strategic missions. Equipped with electro-optical and infrared systems, the Beraktar TB-2 can perform reconnaissance and target acquisition during both day and night operations. In terms of armament, the TB-2 carries a variety of precision-guided munitions. These include Roketsan MAMC and MAML laser-guided missiles, as well as UMTA's air-to-surface missiles, which were successfully tested in 2015. The drone's payload capacity of 150 kg allows for the integration of additional weaponry and locally produced FPV drones, providing flexibility for mission-specific requirements. 
The platform was initially outfitted with Canadian L3 Harris Wescom MX 15D sensors, though more recently it has adopted the Turkish developed Aselsan CAT system since 2020. The TB2 does not rely on heavy defensive countermeasures, instead, its survivability stems from tactical deployment, medium altitude operations, and the flexibility to conduct reconnaissance, strike, and support missions simultaneously. Beyond military applications, Croatian officials have emphasized the civilian potential of the Baraktar TB2. The drone's long endurance and multi-role payload capabilities make it well-suited for border and coastal surveillance, wildfire detection, and search and rescue operations. This opens avenues for interagency collaboration with ministries such as Interior and Agriculture, demonstrating the system's value beyond purely military contexts. By leveraging its technological versatility, Croatia can enhance public safety and environmental monitoring while simultaneously strengthening its national defense capabilities. Globally, the Baraktar TB2 has already been adopted by 37 countries, including several NATO members, reflecting its recognized effectiveness in reconnaissance, electronic warfare, surveillance, and precision strike operations. Croatia's integration of the system into its arsenal aligns it with this broader international trend and demonstrates a commitment to adopting cutting-edge unmanned technology. Military leaders have praised the rapid implementation of the program, noting that what initially appeared to be a complex and demanding project was successfully executed through close collaboration between Croatian forces, the Ministry of Defense, and Baykar. This accomplishment highlights the armed forces' ability to manage technically challenging projects while rapidly enhancing operational capacity. The Baraktar TB2 program is also significant from a strategic perspective. By combining advanced drone capabilities with dedicated infrastructure and bilateral cooperation with Turkey, Croatia has created a framework for long-term development and operational sustainability. The system enhances surveillance and precision strike capabilities while also providing valuable training and experience for Croatian crews. This dual military and civilian role ensures the drone's lasting relevance and underscores their importance for national defense and regional security. In practical terms, the Baraktar TB2 strengthens Croatia's air power by offering a highly adaptable platform capable of responding to a variety of operational needs. Its integration complements other systems within the Croatian armed forces, including fighter jets, air defense networks, and locally developed drones. By investing in both hardware and human capital, Croatia has positioned itself to respond more effectively to evolving threats while simultaneously exploring new avenues for civilian applications. The expertise developed through this program will also contribute to future domestic innovation, reinforcing the country's broader technological and industrial capabilities. Ultimately, the addition of the Baraktar TB2 drones reflects a broader trend in modern military strategy, where unmanned aerial systems are no longer confined to reconnaissance or support tasks. Instead, they play an increasingly central role in national defense, capable of conducting high-precision strikes, gathering critical intelligence, and supporting joint operations across multiple domains. For Croatia, this acquisition represents both a tactical and symbolic step forward, demonstrating the country's commitment to modernizing its armed forces and adopting advanced technologies to safeguard national interests. As these drones enter operational service, Croatian officials have underscored the program's multifaceted value. The Baraktar TB2 enhances military readiness, provides training opportunities for personnel, and extends the state's capabilities in both security and civilian sectors. With its long endurance, versatile payload, and sophisticated sensor suite, the TB2 is a force multiplier that strengthens Croatia's defense posture while supporting regional stability. By leveraging this technology, Croatia not only enhances its immediate operational capacity but also lays the groundwork for future innovation in unmanned systems and integrated defense solutions.
The integration of the Bereactor TB2 into the Croatian Armed Forces therefore represents a carefully considered investment in both strategic and technological advancement. It reflects a comprehensive approach to defense modernization, combining cutting-edge aerial platforms with dedicated infrastructure, international cooperation, and specialized training. As Croatia continues to expand its operational capabilities and embrace emerging technologies, the Beraktar TB2 stands as a central component of a broader effort to enhance national security, support civilian applications, and maintain regional stability in an increasingly complex global environment.